bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you guys are new here. This is Tiffany with Small Town 6 and today I'm sharing with you some super easy and delicious crock pot meals because tis the season for all of the busyness and craziness. So I love to just throw things that I know our family really likes or even try new things and throw in the crock pot, set it, forget it, and you know, have dinner ready because life is crazy right now we have so many sports going on so much stuff going on the kids have been in and out of being sick you can hear my voice it's still trying to come back to normal <laughs> and uh, today's video is super duper special because it is with one of my absolute favorite youtubers her name is Jen she's from cook clean and repeat she does so much content on her channel I've been watching her for years she's a mama she shares all kinds of home decor and I mean her home is beautiful and she shares all these southern type comfort foods I mean Sunday dinners things like that like church foods I mean her meals are incredible so I absolutely love her she's one of the sweetest people um, that there are out there in YouTube land and I'm so happy to call her one of my friends so today's video is in collaboration with her I'm sure most of you have heard of her or watch her I mean if you don't you're missing out so make sure you go and check out her channel when you get done watching my channel and give Jen some love and if you guys are coming from Jen's channel welcome I'm Tiffany I'm a mom of four kids I share lots of cooking videos that are easy and budget friendly I share tons of grocery hauls and just kind of like stocking up um, budgeting type stuff I try to save as much money as possible but like provide for our family of six so I'd love to have you guys here um, love our community but let's go ahead and get started guys I appreciate you guys watching and don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and let's get going okay you guys this first recipe is completely easy I got this on sale at Aldi, um, super cheap. It's just one of those items I didn't need, but I picked up just because it was so darn cheap. So all you do is put it in the crock pot. Simple as that, let it cook on low for um, six to eight hours or on high four to six, and then you have dinner. And what I like to do is make lime, cilantro lime rice in my Instant Pot. It's literally seven minutes um, to cook it and seven minutes to let it sit. And then you just open it, throw some lime juice in. If you have cilantro, throw it in, a little bit of butter and garlic salt. And that's just how we make it. We serve it with our tacos, burritos, whatever we're having that's Mexican inspired. And you guys, this was so simple and so, so good um, and cheap. So there you go. This next recipe is me being totally random. Um, I had potatoes, obviously, if you guys saw that video before where I prepped all of those potatoes that got on a big sale, like 50 pounds of potatoes. So that's what I'm doing here. I am putting some chicken that I bought fresh in the bottom of my crock pot. I'm just putting four breasts of chicken in there uh, because I need to use that up. Then I'm taking a can of cream of chicken soup um, and throwing it on top. Some people don't like that because they think it's processed, but we use it a lot in our house. And I like to make sure I get every little bit out of that so there's no waste. Then I'm gonna get one more can of that. Um, if you wanna mix it up and put cream of mushroom soup, by all means, go ahead and do that. I just use two cream of chickens. Then I always keep onion soup mix on hand. So I am throwing two packets of onion soup mix on this chicken um, just to amplify that flavor. A Little bit of pepper, throw some salt, um, and then we're just gonna cook it on low four to, I'm sorry, high four to six hours, low six to eight I actually overcooked this if you can tell on the edges there but look how tender that is I'm using those tongs and it's literally breaking apart because it is so so tender and I love when you can like break chicken up like that and then just to add a little bit of touch I'm throwing some rich crackers on top this is literally made up as I go and then I had this green bean casserole I got for two dollars and ten cents at Kroger on you know one of my um, bargain buys when I go looking for things that are on clearance and I pop one in the freezer and one to keep on hand super simple you microwave it you top it with the toppings um, I did go back to see if they had more and of course they did not 
I do make this on my own at the holidays, but on busy weeknights, this is perfect. And we served it with some leftover potatoes I'd made. You guys, there's those potatoes again. I have to use the potatoes. I've got, I literally have a freezer full of potatoes. So some of the bags are smaller than the others. I was just judging on the size of my crock pot and the size of the potatoes. So I just used two bags of the potatoes. Um, this is just one of those made up recipes also. I'm throwing a can of cream of chicken soup on top of this because why not? I'm putting in about half of this container of chicken broth um, because I don't like things to be too liquidy. Um, I, sometimes if it's too liquidy, I'll have to drain it. And then I'm going to put some pepper because pepper and garlic powder are our two go-to seasonings. What are your guys' go-to seasonings? And then I've chopped up the onion. You guys know I don't like showing how I chop onion because it's just a disaster. So I'm throwing the onion in and then once again, you guys, four to six on high, six to eight on low, and then there you have it. So I've decided to just up the flavor here. I'm throwing some cream cheese in with this because everybody says cream cheese makes things taste better. Um, I am not big on cream cheese. I will eat it sometimes now if I, you know, can mask the flavor of it, if that makes sense, or if it's like cheesecake, but I'm not huge on cream cheese. My family is. So I've decided to add even more stuff. I didn't have any fresh bacon, so I'm throwing some bacon bits in, um, and I'm putting some cheese in because of course we throw cheese in. And there you go, guys, crock pot soup. And some more fun with beef stew. We love beef stew. I love to come up with new recipes that we can like just change this up because the same old, same old gets old. I do have like my standard recipe. So today I am taking one onion and putting it in the bottom of my crock pot. If you guys saw one of those other bargain buy videos that I had, I got some um, stew meat on big, big sale. It was one of those, you know, meat specials at Kroger. So that's what I'm doing here is chopping up some carrots that I needed to use up. Um, that's one of the best things you can do. If you have vegetables that are going to go bad, chop them up, throw them in the crock pot with something and make a meal out of it. So that's what we're doing here. I'm chopping up these baby carrots because they were due to expire before too long. And then here's the potatoes, guys. I got these potatoes out of my freezer. Um, I slaved and chopped and chopped and chopped that one night. So it is definitely worth it in the long run. So I'm just mixing it together with my hands. That might gross some of y'all out, but I did do that. And then we are just putting some stew meat. The packet was like $4 and something. I got on the uh, meat special at the grocery store. Always check your grocery store. Don't buy the brown nasty meat that's going bad, but you can find some fresh meat that they just need to clear out of there so um, they can make more room for the brand new stuff. So always check that, you can throw it in your freezer. And then now we're going to take a bowl and I am going to take a cup of beef broth and then one more cup of beef broth because I do keep this on hand. It's a pantry staple item of mine. And we're gonna add in a can of um, four ounces of tomato sauce. I don't normally measure my garlic because I just throw in to my liking. So I'm taking three to four. Um, if the recipe calls for three, I'll add four teaspoons of garlic, uh, minced garlic. Then throwing some pepper in because, you know, why not? And I don't measure that because we just love pepper on stuff. And then I'm going to throw a little bit of basil into this. And I know some people get offended by the word throwing in. I've had comment, I had someone comment that they don't like me saying throwing in. Um, and then we're putting garlic powder in and then a little bit of salt just to give it some added flavor. And then we're just going to pour this over top of our beef stew. Uh, you can buy those pre-made packets if you want to. A lot of times I'll even use onion soup mix and a can of cream of mushroom soup to do this. But today we're doing it this way. And then you guys know what I'm going to say next. Cook it on low for six to eight hours or on high four to six. Really just depends on your preference and how your crock pots go. Usually it's all standard and they cook out the exact same way. But every now and then recipes that require like that standard rule, you'll have to cook it a little longer because the chicken might not be fully done depending on whether the stuff is fully frozen or not. So next meal, this was insanely delicious. 
Um, I do make a lot of similar recipes to this. This was one I found on Pinterest. Um, but most of it was changed up because that's what I do. I don't, I don't take uh, word for word the recipes that I see because sometimes I don't have all the all the ingredients sometimes I just don't like the ingredients so just taking chicken breast putting a can of Rotel on top um, putting a can of chili beans which the recipe actually asked for black beans I'm putting a can of corn and I did drain my corn and I did drain my beans and then I'm putting taco seasoning mix because that is another staple item of ours in the house that we always keep on hand and then I'm throwing some other seasonings in. Like I said, this isn't the recipe on the internet. And then I am throwing in some lime juice because it just adds a lot of flavor. I decided to add some more taco seasoning because of how much chicken is in there. So that's what I'm doing here. And then of course you guys, here comes the cream cheese. I love to put cream cheese into Mexican type dishes um, because I think it just makes them so much creamier and so much better and it's just it's just you know I'm not even a cream cheese person but it makes it so much better and here you go guys cook it on low for six to eight hours or on high four to six and then we're gonna come back to it and that's funny because it sat there for all those hours and the cream cheese still doesn't like you know melt down very well it just gets a little warm enough to like mix around so then we're gonna pull the chicken out of the crock pot and sometimes it's more tender than others. It really just depends on the chicken. And then we're gonna shred the chicken back up and we're gonna put this back into the crock pot as I've sped the video along so you don't have to watch all that. And then there you go guys, there is Fiesta chicken. I'm gonna scoop it on some burritos. I prefer to put mine on rice cauliflower or even rice. And you guys can see those queso chips in the background I got at Sam's Club. Um, here I'm putting that cheese dip you guys, if you've never been to Sam's, or if you if you go to Sam's and you've never seen this, buy this white queso cheese dip. Tastes just like the restaurant. And there you go, guys. Super easy, yummy dinner. Okay, friends, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some super easy ideas for the week. Don't forget to go check out Jen's channel, Cook, Clean, and Repeat. Tell her that I sent you. And you guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next one. Love you all.